Hey there, so I figured it's been long enough since I made a video, so this is going to be a video on the hot end of Figmentum. So the hot end is able to hit about 180 millimeters cubed a second consistently, which is pretty cool. It can do that with both PLA and ABS, uh, pretty similar ranges. It uses a ultra volcano nozzle with a CHC Pro, two extensions, um, two more extensions, and then an STD6 hot end. Uh, this little guy is mainly for show. Uh, to keep the entire system cool, I have to use a CPAP fan blowing on the heat sink. Otherwise, heat creep comes up in about 30 seconds or so and ruins the entire thing. Um, what else? Oh, so these actually perform way less than advertised. Advertised, the STD6 can do 144 watts. The CHC Pro can do 115 watts for a total of 259 watts. In reality, the STD6 does 130 watts with CHC Pro doing 53 watts uh, with a combined of 184.23 watts and that's at 24 volts. What I did to increase the wattage was increase the voltage using relays. Uh, I'll show some pictures of schematics of what I did up there. Mainly the reason I used relays was because the board itself actually can't support 36 volts. Um, somebody help me with that. I'll put their name up there. I think it's Earnhardt, yeah, Earnhardt helped me with that. When we looked at board schematics and it turns out that uh, if we go like even two volts above 24 volts, the switches and the hot ends themselves, the uh, like little tiny integrated offsets uh, will get stuck and won't be able to turn off and ruin the board. So uh, we're not doing that. As far as I know, this is the highest flow rate hot end out there. This is hitting a consistent 180 continuous flow and can get up to 240. I've been able to hit that, um, though that's only in short bursts. Oh, also, all of this is done with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle at 285 degrees Celsius. Um, I had to design a Bowden adapter so I can hook up an M4 extruder. That way I can just get a baseline of what's the most extrusion I can get out of this thing. So one thing I can improve about this hot end and we'll hopefully do in the future is there's actually air gaps in between the melt zone extensions. So hopefully I can get some like M6 nuts and grind them down to make it all congruent. Then I'll tell you I have a second channel. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's just more about my personal life, uh, mainly dirt biking videos, stuff like that. Uh, thank you all for watching the videos. If you like it, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.